Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will look at exploring Visual Studio. Once you install Visual Studio, you can submit the job from Visual Studio itself. So you, you need not actually go to Azure portal. And your Visual Studio basically provides a rich tool such as job playback, vertex execution view, state history and diagnostics. So let's look at all of them in the upcoming demo. In the Visual Studio, go to File and New Project. Go to Azure Data Lake section and within Azure Data Lake section, you will find lots of different kinds of projects. Hive project, Pig project, Storm project and USQL project. So just to filter out this list, I will select USQL and it gives you the list of projects that are specifically tailor made for usql so for my first project let me select the usql project and say okay once the project opens you get a dot usql file so if you go to the solution explorer you will see a dot usql file that is backed by a dot usql dot cs file so this is the c sharp file which we will not use now so just to demonstrate the features of Visual Studio, what I will do is I will submit a job, a sample job, the job that we had used to the first video tutorial. And let me select, let me not select local, let me select advanced options. The job name is fine. I'm really not worried about the job name. The analytics account, you can either run locally or you can run connecting to Azure as well. So right now I am not connected to Azure. So let me try connecting to Azure so that I can submit the job to Azure. So after I log in, just go to submit advanced and then in the analytics account, select the one that you have created within Azure and give the number of parallelism. So I will set the parallelism to one. And if you go to advanced option, you will get a job priority. So that's basically saying how fast or how you want to compete with other jobs within the same account. So just say submit. So what happens is that the code is transported to the Azure portal or within the Azure service, data lake service, and it is getting executed over there. So let me go to my Azure portal to check uh, the job that's running now. If you go to all job section, note that the job is running, which name is script. And if you click on that, you can see more details and you can analyze the job within the Azure portal as well. Back in Visual Studio as well, you get the similar kind of features and uh, you can do this analysis either in Visual Studio or in Azure portal. So let's wait for the job to complete. So the job is successful and let's explore some of the tools in Visual Studio. There is a feature in Visual Studio called job playback. So if you click on job playback, so it is actually asking me to load the profile. So let me first go and load the profile, which is uh, available at the right top corner. So if you click load or play the job back, or job playback, what happens is that it shows an history of how the job got executed. So right now, none of the uh, stages are uh, executing now. So you can see which stage was taking a lot of time and uh, you can go and uh, optimize your stage so that your jobs can run faster. So till now, at this point in time, none of the jobs have begun. So at this point, you see, uh, you saw a blue color which was uh, basically telling the running stage and uh, then at the very end the job got succeeded. That's basically because most of the time is spent in you see compilation which is 17 seconds and queuing which is 6 seconds and only 32 seconds are spent for running. So compared to the overall running is very less and that's why you are not able to see much of the colors for major part of this job playback and only for towards the end you are able to see those uh, blue colors. 
One more feature that I would like to show you is the vertex execution view. So it basically shows how the vertices within your job have executed. So if you click on the critical path, which is the longest chain of vertices that are running in your project or your job, you get to see the vertices that are running. Like for example, till this time it was creating and it's queuing and it's running. So to see this properly, let me uh, maximize this or let me enlarge this so that you get a better view. Okay, so now you get a better view. So if you see the original vertices, uh, their execution view is something like this and note that the x-axis is the time and these are the vertices that are creating, queuing and running. So this is a critical path and the next one is failed vertices. None of the vertices failed and so you do not get anything and uh, you can see memory usage above limit and uh, none of the vertices have used memory above limit and so on. So a lot of different options are there so you can really go and diagnose the job as you want. And if you go to state history, you will see a kind of logging that's happening here. So you can see when the vertex was in a preparing stage or in a compiling stage, queuing stage. So lots of details that you can use to assess the state of your job. And the last thing is if you go into the diagnostics tab, it will show you if there are any warnings. So one is data skew where uh, you have data with some of the occurrences uh, are having very high frequency whereas some of the occurrences are very, having very low frequency. So that's not really good for a job. So if it ha is having any kind of those Q issues, then those will be detected within here. Now we do not have any of these Q issues like uh, uh, language usage, resource usage, vertex execution and so on. So that's the very basic intro of uh, tools in Visual Studio and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.